Nicola Milano has solved the YouTube algorithm, making him a part of an elite group of creators averaging more than 10 million views per video. But it wasn't always this way. In fact, just recently Nico realized something that would almost guarantee his videos go viral. So what's the secret? To find out, I spent a week studying as many of Nico's videos, podcasts and tweets as I could find. And I started to realize something. Nico literally has a three-step formula he applies to each of his videos to beat the YouTube algorithm every time. And it starts with the first 10 seconds of the video. By now, we know just how important intros are when it comes to making viral videos. After all, this is when viewers are at their highest risk of leaving. As a result, a typical retention curve often looks something like this. Notice the sharp decline in viewers right at the start of the video. Yet Nico's look more like this. How is this possible? Well, let's take a look at his techniques in action. Watch these first 10 seconds closely. This is me in the middle of a high-speed police chase trying to get into a banned country which no one knows. It has 24-hour police surveillance and it is said to be impossible to get into. This is known as a cold open intro. The video starts with action, which immediately hooks viewers and shows the scale of the video, essentially reassuring the audience that watching this video won't be a waste of time. But you might be thinking, a lot of YouTubers already do this, so what makes Nico's intro so much better? Well, to understand this, we first need to take a look at the title and thumbnail of the video. Firstly, notice how there's no mention of the epic police boat chase that's shown in the intro. Now, this is partly to keep the thumbnail simple, but it also means Nico can immediately exceed viewers' expectations within just 5 seconds. This is really important, as any viewers who are on the fence about watching are now instantly glued to their screens. Not only this, but let's take a look at the thumbnail and first frame of the video side by side. Can you spot what he's done here? Nico has ensured that the first frame of the video closely resembles the thumbnail. There's a close-up of Nico, the bright orange life jacket, the sea, and even the green trees in the background. This proves to viewers that the video is going to deliver exactly what is promised in the thumbnail. Nico then follows up by reiterating the title within his opening line to further build that trust with the audience. This is crucial for new viewers who will quickly abandon a video at even the slightest whiff of clickbait. But once viewers are hooked, it's time for step two of the formula. Nico has mastered YouTube watch time. If you didn't already know, watch time is kind of a big deal in the YouTube algorithm. Essentially, the longer viewers watch a video, the more likely YouTube is to promote that content to more people. Now, there are countless tricks YouTubers use to boost watch time, but it all essentially comes down to one thing, keeping viewers engaged. And how Nico does this is truly genius. To keep the audience engaged, Nico follows a two-stage process. Stage one is to convert viewers' attention from transient attention to focused attention. Transient attention is essentially how most viewers start a video. They're still in a browsing mindset and you typically have around eight seconds to convince them to stay before they get bored and start to look for a different video to watch. However, once viewers reach a state of focused attention, they're more settled into the video and less likely to leave, even during moments when less action is happening. Now, as we covered during step one of the formula, Nico uses cold open intros, which essentially converts viewers from transient to focused attention almost instantly. However, there's a catch. Focused attention tends to only last for around five minutes, yet Nico's videos are often 20 minutes long. So this is where stage two comes in. To explain stage two, I'm gonna use this video as an example. The overarching story is Nico sneaking into the KSI boxing match disguised as a giant prime bottle. Sounds great, but as we just learned, viewers aren't going to stick around for 25 minutes, just waiting for one big payoff. To solve this, Nico places mini storylines every five or so minutes to keep viewers constantly hooked. For example, around three minutes into the video, Nico reveals step one of the plan, to film an anonymous viral video in order to get KSI's attention. This storyline conveniently lasts for around four minutes before getting to the payoff. Were they able to get KSI's attention? These mini storylines continue throughout the video, leaving viewers constantly excited for the next payoff, which is always just around the corner. However, none of what we've covered so far would matter if nobody clicked on the video in the first place. This brings us on to step three of the formula. Nico has become the thumbnail king. After studying all of Nico's thumbnails over the past three years, I found that he follows a simple three rule strategy that pretty much guarantees clicks every time. So let's start with rule number one, show, don't tell. While many of Nico's thumbnails do contain some text, it's rarely the main focal point of the image. And this is for good reason, as according to multiple studies, 
humans can process images around 60,000 times faster than text. This is really important because viewers are generally scanning multiple thumbnails when browsing, so having a thumbnail that can be understood quickly is critical for having a high click-through rate. Rule number two is to leave the viewers with unanswered questions. Let's take a look at this thumbnail from Nico as an example. When I see this image, I immediately have questions like, how did she react? How did Nico get on stage? The list goes on. Once viewers start asking these questions, curiosity starts to set in, and the chances of them clicking on this video are infinitely higher. However, taking advice from the great Michael Scott, rule number three is arguably the most important. Kiss. Keep it simple stupid. To prove this rule, I'm going to flash two thumbnails on the screen, and I want you to choose which thumbnail you're most likely to click. Ready? You probably said the one on the left. Why? Because the one on the right had far too many focal points, making it hard to even process what's going on. Essentially, the more you add to a thumbnail, the longer it takes for viewers to understand. Nico deliberately removes any distractions and only leaves information that viewers need to see. By following this three rule strategy, Nico is able to maximize his click through rate and let his content do the talking. If you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy my breakdown on Ryan Trahan and how he's beating the YouTube algorithm with a strategy that nobody else is using.